another makeup tutorial featuring the NARS Loaded Palette. Whoa! Where is it? Yeah. So nice. So this is the requested makeup video. It features a lot of warm colors and it's perfect for us Asians because it's not like red. It's like yellow, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like in between, so it's really good. So I did this on myself and both of them. Should we get started? It looks yeah. really good. Let's get to it. Go! Starting off with a peachy beige color right there. I'm just going to sweep it all over my lids with a fluffy brush. And I'm going to do the same with Jen and Robin. Take a small fluffy brush, we are going to dip it in into the shimmery copper color. Focusing on the lash line, we are going to start from the outer lash line and work our way in. Moving on to highlight, we are going to use the gold shimmer and mixing it in with the white shimmer. These two colors, we are going to apply that at the center of our eyes to kind of mimic the way that light reflects on our eyelids. I would advise to use your fingers because it picks up glitter better than a brush. If you have a very warm undertone like Robin and that the colors of like gold, copper, and peach is way too much for you, you can actually grab some uh, gray brown and with the pencil brush just line that right at the outer lash line area and that really helps to cool down the entire look. Also highlighting really helps as well, so I'm going to highlight her tear ducts and then blend out any harsh lines with a fluffy brush, just like so. Next, I'm going to take a dark brown and with an eyeliner brush, or in my case, it's a lip brush, but it works anyway, I'm going to line the end of my eyes and kind of like wing it out straight. This really helps to create a natural shadow that elongates your eyes in a softer and more natural way. And I actually like to do this right before I do my eyeliner because I feel that having shadow at the bottom and lining a thin layer of liner on top just really creates more depth. And now it is time for some eyeliner action going on. We are going to draw a very very thin line on top of the shadow. And when I mean very very thin, I mean like ultra thin. <laughs> because you still want to see the shadow peeking through. Also, don't forget to tight line your eyes. Of course, we want to look all flirtatious and blushing, so we're going to be using the blush by Milani in the shade Luminoso, right at the apples of the cheeks. Now, this blush has a bit of shimmer to it, but that's perfect because we want to create a natural glow from within type of look. For lips, we are going to use a mauve rose color. My lips are quite flat with a sharp cupid's bow, so I'm going to like overline that part to make it more plumpy. If you have naturally plump lips like Jen, you don't have to overline them, but just apply it like you normally would. Now, Robin does not have big, big lips, but her lips do have a curve to them, which makes them quite pouty. So I'm just gonna fill it in like regular as well. If you don't have lips like Jen or Kylie Jenner, but you have a bronzer, <laughs> just apply some shading beneath your lower lip for more plump. Take your favorite mascara and lengthen those lashes. The dupe mascara that we're using is amazing. We don't have a lot of lashes to begin with, so this mascara really just lengthens big time. Does not clump, does not smudge, it volumizes, so it's perfect. Finally, and per usual, I'm just going to throw out some shots here, showing our different skin tones and how it looks on us. 
So warm skin tone on Robin and neutral skin tone on Jen. It really just like brightens up the entire complexion too. And then there's me. I have a light skin tone, so the colors do appear more vibrant, but it's still very wearable. We're good, we're okay, we're done! This is the look. Yeah. It's so bronzy. It's bronzy, but it's, it's natural. natural. Mm. I really like it. Mm. And every day, Shelly planned this look really well. Mm.